Day one. Wednesday. Loki virtue score or LVS. Minus three thousand. My name is Loki, and I am a god. Or I was until last Tuesday. Now Odin has banished me to Earth in the form of an eleven-year-old boy. This situation is bad for many different reasons. First, there is the overall weakness of this mortal body. I'm not the strongest of the gods, but right now my legs look like sticks, and I have the upper body strength of a small squirrel. Turds. Before, as a god, I had awesome big hair, horns, cool facial hair, broad shoulders, and arm muscles. After, as a child, I have only slightly awesome hair, scrawny neck, noodle arms, stick legs, and I'm short. Gods spring into being fully formed, so I have not, until now, ever been a child. Apparently, this is what Odin thinks I would look like as one. Rude. Second, there are my fake parents. The guard god Heimdall, who hates me, and a terrifying giant called Hirokin, feelings unknown, are here to pretend to be my father and mother while we are on earth. I have to live with them and do what they say. I am appalled at this indignity. I'm thousands of years old. I should not have a bedtime. I should not have to do chores. I should absolutely, under no circumstances, be expected to fold my own undergarments. Third, I must put up with eleven-year-old Thor, who seems to take great amusement from sitting on my head and farting. I am Thor, god of bum thunder. Perhaps I should take comfort in the fact that he is here and must suffer with me, but it's hard to be comforted at the same time you're being farted on. While I am on Earth, I must write in this stupid book every single day for a month to prove that I am becoming a better person and worthy of Asgard, whatever that means. Now you're probably thinking, Loki, you are the god of lies, the greatest trickster of them all. Why don't you just lie in the book and say you've been very, very good all month? Sadly, Odin, in his annoying wisdom, has thought of that. This is a magical diary. If I lie in here, the diary will correct it. For example, if I say, I am the most powerful of all the gods. Correction. No, you are not. Odin is. You are a puny worm whose only real powers are physical transformation and being really sneaky. I get this kind of rude response. So I have a choice. Lie and be true to my glorious nature and be scolded by this random disembodied voice or tell the boring, unvarnished and usually unflattering truth. Correction. I am not just any random voice. I am a simulation of Odin himself, with all his wisdom. If you're so wise, what number am I thinking of? You are not thinking of a number. You are thinking Odin smells. Ah, in which case I may as well be honest in these pages. There's a first time for everything. My tragedy began with a trick involving the goddess Sif, her long golden locks, a pair of scissors, and an ill-timed nap. I'll spare you the details, but let's just say that no one in Asgard can take a joke. Or a haircut. The next thing I knew, I was clapped in chains, stripped of my divine powers, and locked in a dungeon while Odin thought of a punishment. Fast forward to this morning when I was rudely shoved out of my prison, blinking in the Asgardian sunshine. Odin thrust this book into my hands and booted me out from Asgard over the rainbow bridge down to Midgard, or, as you peasants call it, Earth. As I fell, I transformed into my current puny shape. I landed down on Earth in a muddy puddle. Seconds later, Thor landed on top of me. Even as a human boy, he is not light. Plus, he was clutching his favourite hammer, which made him even heavier. I now have some very purple bruises. I picked myself up and looked around. I was in a sad, grey place full of mortals. No one was looking at me. That's when I realised that my shape had been changed. Ordinarily, I am so beautiful to behold that all must look at me. Correction. You are average-looking for a god, 
and the reason everyone stares at you in Asgard is because they're making sure you're not up to anything. Have I mentioned I hate the truth? <laughs> <laughs>